Alright, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Sovereign and Chuga channel. Welcome to my uh, Q and A. Um, now, if you guys missed my video, I did um, a quick video that is probably deleted now by the time I film this. But I asked you guys some, some questions on that video and on my social medias. Make sure you go follow them. And um, yeah, obviously to get in your questions, and we've got quite a few to get through. So thank you and big up to every single one of you uh, who did put in a question, and I will be answering every single one in today's video. If you guys do uh, go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smash that button. Let's get right into it. So guys, first one does come from uh, Cryptid Arsenal, also known as um, Young Guna. But um, yeah, make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Brilliant, brilliant YouTuber. Um, he had a channel before with like 200 subscribers. Uh, unfortunately, he got taken down. But yeah, make sure let's try and get him back to that. Subscribe to him. And he says, um, who do you think is better, Saka or, or uh, Onsu Fatty? So obviously, Fatty is an absolute baller. Um, I do rate him highly. Playing for Barcelona. And um, I, listen, I don't watch, I don't watch much of uh, La Liga. Um, at all, to be honest, I haven't watched much of Barcelona, um, but yeah, what I will say about Fatty is, like, I have seen him in the Champions League, for example, I've seen clips of him on YouTube, and he does look really good, um, but obviously I watch Saka week in, week out, um, so yeah, I think who's really high in terms of the team they're playing for, I'll say Fatty, even though Barcelona are playing really, you know, poor this season, um, but obviously Fatty's got Messi and all that with him. Saka's got Xhaka and you know, that's about it. So um obviously I'm gonna back my boy Bakayo Saka but listen I do think Fatty's absolutely class and I need to really watch him in La Liga to really see him play in full action to see, you know, how good he really is. But yeah, for for me I'm gonna go with Saka. So the next one comes from Jacob Marlon, shout out to him, uh, always com comments on my videos and he says who's my favourite player for Arsenal at the moment. And I do have a few, uh, but for me, it has to be my left back, my captain, Kieran Tierney. Um, yeah, he's obviously, um, he's just class, isn't he? He's been brilliant this season, and he has to be captain. Um, and listen, he just, even when we signed him, I was one of the first ones to say, I could see this guy's a future captain. And I, 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 I'm used to knowing from Celtic a lot. And um, yeah, even Celtic fans were saying, we, we're we hating, like, we absolutely hate to see him go because he, he was a really important player of them. He won that he's won so many titles with Celtic, like it's unreal. And he's you know, he, he wins trophies, he knows how to win them, he knows how to lead the pitch and all that. So yeah, definitely Kieran Tierney. Um obviously that I've got Pakayo Saka as well. Um yeah, he's he's a really player who I um really rate highly and he's a great young um prospect. Um and obviously the one who's actually out on loan who I used to love was uh, Lucas Torreira, um, and I know he sort of went down now, uh, downhill at Atletico because obviously Mikhansat doesn't rate him, but under Emery I thought he was class and I really did rate him, I got his name on the back of my shirt and everything, but um, yeah, it's a shame that he has left, um, I think he could be coming back, but yeah, right now it has to be Kieran Tierney for sure. So next one does come from Football Shirt some more, and he says, will I be continuing doing my Football Shirt videos, because um, he's looking to create a channel himself. And um, yeah, obviously I've made two in the past. Um, I've done the uh, my kit collection and obviously the best websites to use. So yeah, I'm thinking of doing so many more football shirt videos. Um, I think I'm doing a mystery box as well. And um, yeah, so make sure if you guys want them, then um, yeah. But I'm definitely gonna be continuing with the football shirt videos when I do have time. But um, yeah, thank you, thank you for your question. So next one comes from GTA Fugs and he says um, the favorite Arsenal game I've ever been to. Um, that that is quite a hard question because there has been a few which I've loved. Um, I've been to quite a lot of Arsenal games, if I'm being real. Over over the years, there's been some absolutely horrendous ones, but the one that really comes to mind is probably oh 
the, the like so I was at the three 0 Chelsea win in twenty seventeen when Sanchez scored two goals and Ozil scored. Uh, when we beat the three 0 at the Emirates, I thought that that was one of my favourite games. Uh, the Man United two 0 I don't remember it fully because I was about I think ten in twenty sixteen when we beat them three 0 uh, Again, Alexis scored. Um, the one for me that stands out was again twenty sixteen. Again, I don't really remember it as such, but I do remember parts of it. Um, when Leicester won, when when Leicester won the league, we went one 0 down from a penalty from Jamie Vardy, and we and we ended up coming back to beat them two one. Danny Welbeck um, scoring in the last minute. Özil with a free kick that was absolutely seen, running into the crowd and everything. So yeah, I'll probably say that is um, probably one of my favourite games I've ever been to. Um, there's been a, a few Community Shields, but I, that was when we beat Man City three. No, I don't I don't remember what, anything that will happen that game. Um, but yeah, I've I've only ever been to two Champions League games before, uh, one abroad, which um, yeah, let's not talk about that because I actually um, missed school to actually go to Portugal to watch Arsenal play. Yeah, I, let's, let's let's not talk about that. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, that's probably one of my favourite games when Arsenal did beat Leicester two one. I remember um, I think my uncle took me to that game as well. Uh, we sat like. Uh, not directly behind the goal, it was like a few rows up. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good experience. And I've been to uh, a few Arsenal games, obviously, before COVID as well. So yeah, I will obviously, after COVID, I'll be going to loads more. So yeah, thank you. Thank so the next one comes from Antoine Jack, and another one who's been a, a regular to this channel. So big up to him. Thanks for commenting. And um, he says, if Arteta wins the Europa League this season, uh, would you go back to Arteta in? Now, obviously, I changed my mind. I was on Tetherin at the start. Um, I didn't particularly want him. There was a video which I did say when, when he first released, if you go all the way back, I said, what the hell are we doing? This guy's got no experience. Um, but then I sort of started backing him when we, when we won the FA Cup, if I'm being real. I was like, all right, let's back him. He, he beat Liverpool and yeah, I was one of them who got on the hype train, you know, started doing this. Yeah, got on the hype train, you know. I was like, oh, Mikel, Mikel, yes, Mikel, Mikel. And listen, at the end of the day, I changed when we lost 2 0 to Spurs this season um, at White Hart Lane. I was like, we, we lost 3 0 to Villa. We, we played horrendous against West Ham in the second game of the season, only beat them 2 1. Lost to Liverpool. We played horrendous against Sheffield United, only beat them 2 1. We lost to City 1 0, played shocking. Uh, battered by Villa, ripped apart, lost 3 0. Yeah, we beat Man United. And when, and when we beat Man United, I was like, okay, maybe I should start backing him. But then after that, you know, Wolves, Leeds, like, we junior or Leeds, Pepe got sent off and all that. And even they should have beat up about 3-0 that, that game. Uh, we lost to Wolves 2-1. Um, obviously, Burnley as well, 1-0. One, one all away. Lost to Villa 1-0 away. And they just lost to Wolves 2-1 away. And it was just like one of them, and obviously when it got to got to that Spurs game, you know, we've drawn in with Crystal Palace, drawn with one with Southampton. And I just thought I've had, I've had enough of this. Lost to Everton two one as well. I, I can go on all day. Um, and we had quite an easy, an easy, really easy group. No disrespect to the teams, but in in Europa League, um, we actually beat Mole, Dundalk, all of them. Um, but even that didn't really change my mind because it's like, come on. Uh, and obviously the Cabo Cup as well. We got knocked out. Um, cut, oh, but by Man City 4-1, battered again, and that one, that one when Alex Runison decided to turn into Butterson. Um, but yeah, I changed then, and since then it's just been, we've, we've had some good results, don't get me wrong, that Chelsea game was really good, the Spurs game, the West Ham was appalling, uh, which, for the 3 all that we played, and obviously in Europa League, we've, we, we got away with one against Benfica, we almost fought all against Lindsay Yarkos and we got Slavia Prague. If he wins the Europa League, would I be on to Erin? No. Yeah, no. Now, let me tell you why I'm saying no, yeah? Because it's Champions League football and it's a trophy. I'm, I'll be so happy. I'll be over the moon, yeah? Because Emery couldn't do that, yeah? But the reason why I'm, I'm not going to change in, instantly back to on to Erin mm -hmm. is the fact that I, I want to see, yeah? Yeah, we, if we win the Europa League, we get Champions League, we get a trophy. Everyone's like, oh, well, you should back him now. If not, you're fake, yeah? But at, at the end of the day, 
I want to see what we do in this summer chancel window coming up. I can guarantee we will find one player, you know, we'll leave it so late as well. And that's just Arsenal Football Club and that, and you know, I want to see league. I don't care about Europa League, I want to see league. League performances that can actually get us higher than 10th and actually into that top four. And yeah, I want to see what happens in the summer because this manager is just not good enough. And personally, I don't think we will. Obviously, there's a little bit of hope that I do think we can, but I don't, I don't think we will, we will. We will win the Europa League, and yeah. But thank you guys, for, thank you for your question. Um, but yeah, that there's your answer. I don't think I will change unless I see something change in in the squad, and if I actually see something, you know, which I haven't seen from this manager before. So yeah, thank you, guys, thank you for your question. So guys, unfortunately, this guy is actually German, and he and he actually um, has been watching me do my Dortmund career modes. Now I put a full translation of what he said down there. Um, hopefully he can un understand English. I'm not too sure, but he does say true Guna. Um, when will I continue with my um, like Dortmund career modes or whatsoever? And um, yeah, so basically, I will be obviously continuing with my Dortmund career modes. I've I've took a little break from them, um, but I will be back soon with them for sure. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for your question. Thank you so much for watching. And it's great to see someone actually from a different country watching my channel. It's like crazy, you know. So um, yeah, I'm really happy that you watch. Uh, I the the only German I know is Good and Tag. So Good Good and Tag to you. Thank you. Nine. That means no, but yeah, Good and Tag. So moving on, we have got RD12. Massive, massive shout out to him. He's really he's he's underrated as a YouTuber. Like he's got sixty four subscribers now. And the the work he puts in, like the thumbnails and you know his intros and all that stuff, and you know how he edits and and all that, he deserves so many more than sixty four. So help him out. Go and everyone who watches this now subscribe to him. I put his link in. I put every everyone's channel in the link who actually commented in the description down below. Show them some support. Subscribe to them because they definitely deserve it. Like the amount of work, you know, they put in, and at the end they, we are all YouTubers. But he says, um, who would be my Arsenal 11 uh, from 2012 of all time, so let's get right into yeah, that. Yeah, in terms of like my squad, let's start off with goalkeeper. Obviously, 2011 to 12, we had Al Munier in goal. Um, he's literally the same equivalent as Alex Renison. He, he ain't going in. Now we've got Bernardo, we had Emmy Martinez, but um, we had obviously Chesney, uh, Fabianski, and all that. Uh, but for me, Chesney's a good shout because I thought he did all right for us. He, did, he plays for Juventus now. Um, and I think I might put it, uh, but it's presumed here, I've, I think Leno's, although he's been quite poor recently, I won't go Leno, you know. Um, we, we obviously have Pepe a check, but for one season, like I said, Emi Martinez. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go Leno for now. Um, it is between now and up to 2011, you said, so yeah, we're going to go Leno. Uh, the defence, um, on the other hand. The right back, so let's get into the right let's get into that right back because obviously Hecky B's not going anywhere near that squad. So this is my right back. There's one that always comes to mind. He's been uh probably was my uncle's favourite player uh in that 2014, 2012, 11 period. And that was um ba uh Bakary Sagna, uh right back for us. And I thought he's really good actually. Um he's retired now, I think. He 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 moved from us to join Man City. Um, but yeah, I think he is retired now. But yeah, I've, I've rated Sack Tag on a highly. And for me, he has going that right back position. Moving on to the centre so backs. We've had some um, centre backs over the years. Obviously, nowadays we've got David Louise, Gabriel, um, Pablo Mari, and all that. Rob Holden. Uh, back then, we had obviously. Um, I, can't, I never could pronounce. He, he switched. So I can never, I can never pr pronounce his name. I think it's like Jonathan. I, I, I can't pronounce his name. But like Durafort. No, not Durafort, what am I saying? I'll put his name down there. Um, I thought he was decent. Obviously, we've had Thomas from Flamalum, Koscielny, Murtasaka, and I think the player who I will be going with, with, with is BFG, and that is going to be Per Murtasaka. He's going to be my first centre back in there. Um, and also, Murtasaka, Gabriel is a shout, maybe. Um, Masafi. I might as well put Masafi for the jokes in though. We had Gabriel, uh, the other Gabriel, Paulista, um, who plays for Valencia now. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put in Koscielny, you know. I, I thought Koscielny was a different player. So for right now, we've got Leno, Sagnar, Murtasaka, Koscielny, 
left back has to be Kieran Tierney. Um, now, in terms of our left back over the years, uh, if you're talking about obviously we had one of the, the, my favourite left backs was actually Chloe, but he obviously left um, before um, like 2012 or whatever it was. He went he went to Chelsea, so yeah, um, Kieran Tierney has to go in there. And that left back position. Now midfield, we've got Arshav, Rizinski, Gazola, Ramsey. We've got so many to pick from. Um, Party as well now, but I ain't gonna pick Party because he hasn't been at the club long enough, in my opinion. Um, we're, we're gonna kick things off with my man Thomas Rizinski. I, I love this guy, and um, he always looked a bit, um, you know, this is what other fans will say about him, like he's on the drug, you know. Um, but you know, he was a baller. Like his goal against Tottenham was class and everything like that. So, ramp um, because all the oh my god, I've just put I spoiled the whole midfield. We're gonna go with Zizky, We're gonna go with Santi Cazorla. This guy was just a magician. Like I, I honestly miss him so much. He, he was such a baller. Uh, the formation we're gonna go with like is we, we just do a simple four, four three three. Um, now the cam roll. That's interesting. We've had some good cams over the years. Um, I'm gonna put Rambo in there. Now, I did like Aaron Ramsey a lot, and it was a shame that he did have to go Juventus. I mean, he, he scored some absolutely quality goals. Uh, the one where he literally, like, poked it up against CSK in Moscow in the Europa League was class. So, I'm going to go Aaron Ramsey. Now, the attack. This is where it's going to get a bit interesting. Uh, up front, as the main striker, I've gone with Robin Van Persie. Um, I know he's a bit of a snake and all that. But, yeah, for me, I'm going to go with Van Persie up front, for sure. Left hand, so I'm going to go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Uh, right now, so I'm going to go Alexis Sanchez. Swap them around, maybe. Um, we could swap them around. And you could put Thierry Henry in there, because he did come back in 2012. But for me, I'm going to go Van Persie. Nah. You know, I'll tell you what. Oh, this is tough, you know. We're going to go with Van Persie. Abamian. And Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez was what, honestly one of my favourite players who've ever played for Arsenal, ever, ever, or I've ever booked in this. So, yeah, big up to Ardy as well. Thank you, thank you for your question. Alright, guys, so that will be the end of the video. Thank you for everyone who did put in a question. If you guys um, unfortunately didn't get your question answered, um, now I obviously went through every single comment on my videos. If you guys were a bit late to my video and you never got to comment, comment yours down on this video and I will answer it in the comment section down below. But yeah, um, big up to everyone who commented. I'll leave every single one link in the description. Um, but yeah, massive shout outs to like obviously RD12, massive, brilliant YouTuber, um, Crypto Arsenal as well. So yeah, go subscribe to all of them. I'll see you guys in my next one.